Hello everyone, welcome back to another 1v1 Warhammer Battle. I am playing as the Empire against the forces of chaos. For over here I have a cannon up on a hill. Yeah, that's right, it's on a hill. But only by itself right now, because I think the hill god is in favor of me these days, so I, I chose to put it up there. Uh, then over here for the main line we have a mix of swordsmen and two great swords. Pretty simple front line. It's pretty simple armor, really. We have four hand gunners, and then two Demigrave Knights. We have a Celestial Wizard back here with uh, Curse of the Midnight Wind, the Thunderbolt, and... I want to say Fall's Protection, but that's not Fall's Protection. What is this spell called? Just, I can't remember what it's called. Let me just let... You know, it doesn't matter. It's like a defensive buff spell. Uh, then being led by a General in the Empire with a Heal Potion. The enemy brought the Summoners of Rage, Renowned Dragon Ogres. Then they have two Forsaken and one here. Then one over here with the uh, Demon Spew. The main line is a bunch of Chaos Warriors with great weapons being led by Prince Sigvald. They also have the Swords of Chaos and a Chaos Sorcerer of the Metal with Final of the Transmutations. Uh, so seeing their army, their army is relatively slow, at least the main chunk of it, which is just going to be uh, these units. So my plan is we try and focus on the fast units. We take out the Swords of Chaos, we take out the Forsaken, and then we take out the Dragon Ogres. And then it, when that happens, we can hopefully just kite the Chaos Warriors for days with our gunners. Because we have four gunners, usually you bring about three and like a Light Wizard, but... Again, this isn't a very complex army. It's just a little different because I brought more gunners and I brought a Celestial Wizard because I'm tired of the Light Wizard right now. Uh, but anyway, cannon has just been pounded into the Swords of Chaos, which are making a straight line for us. So we're going to intercept it with these Demigrave Knights. We're going to throw in some Swordsmen to try and block the Demon Spew. Meanwhile, my General is going to snipe this Chaos Sorcerer of Metal, who is way out of position by themselves, so that their final transmutation shenanigans will not be able to happen. These Swords of Chaos are really good at killing armor and infantry, but not necessarily Demigrave Knights. Uh, I may have taken some funny fire there from uh, cannon though, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, riflemen are going to start pouring open fire on some Chaos Warriors here. We're also going to start chew chewing up the Dragon Ogres over here. We're going to try and run interference with these Swordsmen. These Great Swords, I think are going to be going into some Chaos Warriors there. Going into Chaos Warriors, Chaos Warriors. Swordsmen have no chance of being the Chaos Warriors. All I need them to do is hold the Chaos line long enough for me to try and deal with the very mobile units here, here, and then on this flank right over here with these Forsaken. Meanwhile, I'm still finishing up the uh, transportation of Metal Wizard out there, or Sorcerer. And the cannon is in relative safety up here, now firing on the summoners of the Dragon Rage? What, is that what they call Summoner, Summoners of Rage? Over there we have sniped the Chaos Sorcerer of Metal. I thought these things were going to run off the field, but they actually don't. They'll come back later. Uh, but I really needed my Demigrave Knights over here to support my other Demigrave Knights, which are about to run into the Summoners of Rage. We have a Curse of the Midnight Wind going here, trying to support my Great Swords over here. And I'm going to try and get my Riflemen out of this situation. You can see the Swordsmen died almost instantly, which I expect them to against Chaos Warriors, which is it's fine. Uh, Demon Spew gonna go behind here on my Great Swords. They're gonna do some damage there. I'm gonna throw in my uh, General of the Empire because now we are on damage control. We need to finish off these dra uh, Summoners of Rage and then we need to get their other fast units while we run away from the Chaos Warriors. Uh, but again, first we're gonna focus on these guys and then I'm gonna send the General of the Empire and these Demon Knights into these Chaos Warriors who are pretty close to these hand gunners. Now they are uh, put in place because they are engaged. Now we're just gonna fire into the back. And the uh, cannons are still firing over at the Summoners of Rage. We're still in the Curse of the Midnight Wind, and now we don't need to move these guys anymore, so they're going to open fire on these Forsaken, which again are one of my high-key units because they are very fast. The next high-key unit is going to be the Demon Spew, which I think I run my units into next. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I run them into this Chaos Warrior. I can't remember. But now we have routed off the Summoners of Rage. They have been terrified by these Demigriff Knights, and we are still trying to go through these Forsaken with the Hand Gunners. Again, I'm trying to focus them down because they are very fast. And here we go, yeah. So I start trying to stop the Demon Spew with my General of the Empire, but they are going to continue on forward, so I'm going to chase them. Meanwhile, the other Demigriff Knight is over here is trying to stop these Chaos Warriors from getting into this Rifleman. Pulling up this Rifleman, who was starting to route, or did route, and now has come back. Celestial Witch is over here, just kind of out, uh, make sure that he doesn't get sniped by like Stivald or something. And again, we're chasing these Demon Spew. Uh, unfortunately, the Swords of Chaos do come back as my cannons start uh, chewing through these Chaos Warriors. My view was like this, and I wasn't paying attention to my cannons at this point, so they are going to get uh, sniped by these, like, four Chaos Warriors. Over here, I put a Curse of the Midnight Wind, which was the wrong spell. I thought I was casting a Thunderbolt, because I wanted to pin all these guys in place and hit them with the nasty uh, Lightning, but I miss I, I clicked the wrong spell. That was not supposed to be Curse of the Midnight Wind. That was supposed to be a, a Lightning Thunderbolt, which I was testing to see if it works against Chaos Warriors. I think it does. I think especially Overcast, the Thunderbolt could do a lot of damage. But anyway, you can see we finally pinned these guys to the ground, and we just massacred them and executed them with the Rifleman. And now that we've done a salvo, we're like, well, let's micro ourselves back, because it does take about 10 seconds in between shots, so we might as well run during that time. 
as we bring our Demigurf Knights back over here. I think they rerouted the Summoners of Rage. My cannon is now finally routing due to the Swords of Chaos, who I did finally run a Swordsman up there to try and prevent this from happening, but they're too late, but that's fine. Not going to worry about these guys because they are so far back, and we're just going to take another Salvo, and then we're going to start running again. Just shoot and run. Shoot and run. And we're going to try and run from Pistigbo. Meanwhile, these Riflemen are just free to fire into these Chaos Warriors as my Demigurf Knights and the General were just destroying these. Not feeling too pressured by these Chaos Warriors because, again, they're slow. Chaos Warriors are really good in melee, but they are very slow. They are encumbered by that heavy armor, so we are just kiting away. We're going in multiple directions, seeing where Prince Sigvald's going, so obviously they're going after these guys um, and not my Slusher Wizard. I'm going to start running up this way. And now with these guys routed, these ones way, way out here. Might as well be on the other side of the map with how slow they are. We're going to run into these guys, focus them down with the rifles. This rifle is actually shooting at the Demon Spew who came back from routing, and I noticed that. And they haven't been given attack orders yet, so I wanted to make sure we killed them before that happened. Uh, but soon here, the Source of Chaos and the Demon Spirit will start coming back to the rifles. I'm going to assign this rifle, I believe, to start shooting into these guys and finish them off as our Demon Knights just ran through those two additional Chaos Warriors with great weapons. And now we're running away from S Prince Sigvald, and that's fine. We don't really need to kill Prince Sigvald right here. So we're going to go down, and, and we're just trying to save our gunners over here. These gunners are now focusing on the Summoners of Rage, which came back briefly. And there we go. I think the player leaves at that point. Or maybe they did a mass shout and I missed it. Uh, but that is going to be a GG. Um, so, Swordsmen just got massacred. As I knew they would. They didn't last as long as I was hoping. I was hoping at least another 20, 30 seconds out of them. But no, they got just chewed to pieces. Great Swords lasted a little bit longer, but still against the Chaos Warriors and the um, Forsaken that they were fighting, they didn't have much of a chance, really. But the Rifles... They did their job. They got salvos. We marked them back. More salvos. And then my mobile force with the general. We sniped the uh, chaos sorcerer very quickly because they were left out in the flank by themselves. And that's just easy bait for... Not even bait, but just an easy target for a general of the empire or anybody else on a griffin. So that's what we did. So their tra final transportation shenanigans didn't even start. They didn't get to cast a single one, which is good for me. Uh, but yeah, so after we isolated and killed the very mobile forces, then you, you saw what happened to Chaos Warriors. All we had to do was just charge to their rear, we pin them in place, we launch a salvo of rifleman fire, then we pull the rifleman back, because again, there's 10 seconds, I think it's 10 seconds, between each shot, so you might as well get as much distance as you can from the Chaos Warriors, because they're very slow. Uh, so you can actually gain some ground against them, fire, then move, fire, then move, uh, if you have the marker for that, and that's exactly what I did. So yeah, they chewed through my front line, again, I was hoping they'd be a little bit longer for speed bump, but in the end... We, we still managed to win. But good game to EMS777555. Um, let's go watch a cinematic view of the battle. You know, I actually misplaced these things. They should have been, like, right here at the very top of the hill. Damn, I messed up my, uh, my hill spot. And you know what? The hill god didn't protect me in the end. The Swords of Chaos came back and wiped these guys out. I don't know why the hill god didn't, like, reach out from the ground and stop that from happening. Because it's a hill. Like, hills are supposed to protect you, right? Right? That's why people always go on them? <clears throat> then protect these poor bastards. And their cannons are facing the ground, but somehow they're firing up. Listen, it's weird. It's magic. Whoa. You didn't think I was actually going to let you get to my cannon, though, did you? These swords had no chance to get the Demon Spew, but I needed to keep them off my Demigurf Knights. The important units here were the rifles and the knights. The front line were just meat shields. Really poor meat shields, too. I'd probably be better off just using flagellants in this, but I just, I'm tired of, of using flagellants. They're really good, because you gotta kill them all. I'm just tired of them. Like, I'm tired of the Light Wizard. Tired of Flagellants. Gunners are still cool because they're guns. And guns will always be cool. This is Sloppy Micro for me. I should have pulled these guys back a lot faster. And this crew, too. I don't know what I was micro. Maybe the Demi Confines and the General at this point. Yeah, I should have been pulling them out a long time ago.
Gunners are so cool. Shoot that man in the face. What are you doing? Don't blow your sword. Shoot him in the face. Ah, oh, you foolish, foolish rifles. Oh yeah, right. I cast that protection spell on them. What's it called? Harmonic conversions. There we go. Also gives them melee defense. I wanted, I needed my rifles to stay alive, so I just gave them melee defense as they were running out of there. Probably a waste, really. I'm like, no! Get off my rifles, you filthy, filthy demon spew! Never just gonna shoot him in the back. Too bad you're not unbreakable. These chaos words are so slow. They're so powerful, but they're so slow. Lower either raise the cost of Demigrip Knights with Halberds or lower the cost of normal Demigrip Knights. Because the Halberd version is preferred because it does good enough against even infantry. Like it's just the superior unit for the same. Well, okay. I mean, I guess normal Demigrip Knights have a shield, but like. When does anyone online use Demigrip Knights because they have a shield and they can block rifles better or block, block uh, range better, you know? I, they need to entice people to actually bring Demigrip Knights, the normal ones. So you can either lower their cost or raise these guys by nothing crazy. Even like just 50? Maybe that'd be too low to meet me a difference. I don't know, something. Because these, these units just perform just as good, almost just as good, as normal demis against infantry units. It's just ridiculous. Like, why Why would you... There's a reason you would like never see demigriff knights on the field. I don't know. I just like, I like when units get buffed to a point where it's like, oh, you know what? Okay, let's actually bring these. Like when the Savage Orcs got major buffed, you know, uh, months ago and you, people started actually started to use them because they were I'm not gonna say useless but they were definitely not really that great before that buff that uh, they got like in I think it was when the Bretonian patch came out I think it's when they got buffed anyway just I, I don't know I would like to have a reason to use the units that aren't used for a specific reason because they're not as good as others in multiplayer I mean I guess I could take them anyway but it's just like, why would I take those instead of taking the help? Anyway, I'm just rambling on at this point. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the 1v1, everybody. I will see you all next time. Enjoy your day.